Hi there and welcome to another video of gtntraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how you can remove Google Analytics referral spam with the help of Google Tag Manager. As always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you're new to Google Tag Manager check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course which will give you a good overview on how to use this tool effectively. It includes five different videos to go through and get used to using and installing Google Tag Manager. And it's completely free, so check it out at gtmtraining.com slash email course. So Google Analytics referral spam is really about these different referrers that you get in your referral report within Google Analytics, which are obviously not real users coming from a site like get free social traffic.com and entering your site and therefore polluting all your genuine traffic that comes to your page and it makes data analysis within Google Analytics harder. And this is really all made possible by the Google Analytics measurement protocol, which is just another way to send data into Google Analytics. So for example, instead of you entering a page and the tracking script files on your browser. And we see this reflecting in our real-time reporting. The measurement protocol is actually a direct access where the user doesn't have to come to your page in order to send in data to Google Analytics. It is a direct way to send data to Google Analytics via the measurement protocol API. And we can simulate this, for example, through a tool that Google Analytics gives us under the GA Dev Tools, where we have the hit builder. We can build a post request and send in data to Google Analytics directly without going to the page. And for that, you need to have different parameters set up. And obviously, we can also fake our referrer here and just say, hey, we came from the site spam.com. And if we enter this fake data here and validate our hit, we can send this hit directly to Google Analytics. And then in our real time reporting, we see a new hit just arrived and the source is spam.com, something we completely made up in our hit builder. And that's how the spammers basically send in data to your Google Analytics account. Now really, there are different mechanisms to take care of this referral spam problem. First would be probably setting up filters and using a custom segment to actually filter out the data that is bothering you. But a big problem is that we need to keep these filters up to date. When a new referral spam pops up, we need to update our filters and as we know here, it's really easy to just change around the referrer information of the hit that we sent in. So the guys over at Lunar Metrics, especially Saif Sharif, came up with a method to filter out this dumb ghost traffic with the help of Google Tag Manager. And it really is based on the notion that most of the traffic is sent in through the measurement protocol. So what he does is set up a cookie to actually cookie all the users that are real coming to our page and reading the cookie with Google Tag Manager then sending in a custom dimension with our Google Analytics hit. And in the end, we can filter out the bad traffic or only include the good traffic that has this cookie data in the custom dimension. So unless the spammer is looking through your Google Analytics hit and copying that custom dimension, there's no way it can enter your Google Analytics account. And in my experience, this gets rid of 99% of the dumb referral traffic that enters your account. So let's rebuild this with Google Tag Manager. So let's head over to our Google Tag Manager account 
And the first thing we want to do is actually set a cookie on the user's browser once he enters the page. We go with a new tag and this will be our cookie tag. We call this set cookie. And we'll only set this up on the landing page. As the tag template, we go with a custom HTML tag. And this script that we want to fire on the landing page of the user is setting a cookie. So how do we set a cookie? There's a great resource by perksmode.org explaining everything about cookies. And there's an example script that we'll just go ahead and use for setting up a cookie. So I'll copy here from this page and transfer this code over to our tag. Now, since this is JavaScript, we need to surround it by script tags. And now all we have to do is actually call this function called create cookie. And we need to pass it a name, which we'll just call def, a value, which we'll just unsuspiciously call not set. And the days we want to keep this cookie alive, and I'll just put in a thousand days, which is well in the future. So we make sure that New users are always re-identified as being real traffic. Let's put a semicolon in the back and this script should set our cookie automatically. Let's click here on continue. And we'll make up our own new landing page trigger. Let's go on to more and click on new. And this will be our landing page trigger. We will choose the event page view and only fire this tag or turn this trigger true when our referrer doesn't contain our URL, which is in our case demoshop.com. We'll create this trigger and try this all out. Let's create this tag go into our preview and debug mode and go back to our demo shop, reload our page, our Google Analytics tag fired, but not our landing page cookie. Why is that? Probably because our variables or referrer does equal demo shop.com slash contacts. So pretend we come from google.com. Put it demoshop.com. Here we go. So we come from google.com and our set cookie fired because our referrer is now from Google and that should set a cookie. So let's control this by going into our developer tools, which is under view developers. And then we have here our developer tools. We can look into the resources. And on the resources, we have all our cookies that were set on this domain. And now we have a cookie called dev and the value is not set. So this all works fine. Now the next step would be to actually let Google Analytics read that cookie. So we'll make up a new variable for that. Let's go under variables and set up a new variable. And this will be our dev cookie. And we'll choose as the type our first party cookie here. And we just need to put in the name, which is dev. And that should do it. Let's create this variable. Refresh our preview and debug mode. Go back to our page. Refresh our page. 
now we should be able to see in our variables our dev cookie so we have it here and it's set to the value of the cookie and is now filled with not set now we can use this variable in our custom dimension now to set up a custom dimension you need to go to your google analytics account first and in the admin section under the properties you have the capabilities of setting up custom definitions and custom dimensions and all you need to do is add a new custom dimension where you give this custom dimension a name i'll just call this def and the scope just to make sure should be set to user so this custom dimension will be set on a user basis and we'll turn this active all you need to do is remember the number of the custom dimension so if you have multiples this will be important in our case this is two so now we can go over to google tag manager and edit our general page view tag so this is the tag that sends over our Google Analytics page view information. And we want to edit the configurations and send with the page view a custom dimension. For that, we need to click on more settings. And then we have here our custom dimension. And we'll add a custom dimension. And the index should be two. And the dimension value will be set dynamically by our dev cookie. Let's save that. And refresh our preview and debug mode. Go back to our page and reload our page. And so now our Google Analytics tag has fired. We can also see that in our tag assistant by Google. And once we click into that, we can look at the page view it was sent over and actually we have a tab here custom metrics and a custom dimension with the value not set was just forwarded over to google analytics so this is all working as expected now in order to make this actually useful for filtering out referral spam we need to set up a filter so let's go over to google analytics and set up a filter in our admin section we have under the view options, we have our filters. Now I would recommend to have different views here to test this actually out. In our case, we have a master and a test view and an unfiltered view. And we will install this on the test view in order to see if this works correctly before we, before we implement that into the master view. So let's click on test view and on filters and we'll create a new filter and this new filter will be called include cookie data and we want to have a custom filter that we install and we actually want to only include the data that has the custom dimension def equal to not set and that's already it you can now save this filter and test this all out let's go over to our reporting section and under the real-time reporting under overview let's keep this open and refresh our demo shop that has a cookie set obviously it's sent over the hit and the hit is received correctly by Google Analytics. Now let's do the negative test. Let's go over to our hit builder and also send in the same information that we sent in previously with the spam referrer here and here too. And let's send this hit to Google Analytics. And let's see if anything happens in our real time reporting. Nothing happens. Now we're lucky we have a second profile that is called unfiltered where we don't have any filters in there let's go into our real-time reporting here and see if anything has fired yes there has been a new referral source fired with 
the referral source spam. So this is working as expected and the spam information will be filtered out in a profile where you have this filter installed. And once you're sure everything is working, you could elevate it to the master profile and have your data only include those that actually visit your site with the custom dimension dev set to not set. Now, obviously in the end, we want to publish this to all our users. So they get cookied when they enter the site and when a hit gets sent over to Google Analytics, there is a custom variable sent with this page view and Google Analytics will include it based on the filter into our reporting and leave out all the hits that don't have that custom dimension in there. And that's how we can get rid of Google Analytics referral spam with the help of Google Tag Manager. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel or give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course. I'm Julian, till next time.